Okay, so now that it's finished downloading, along with part one of this video, we're going to minimize. We're going to go to settings for Red Star OS. Storage. We're going to add a uh, add the ISO. So, once this loads, you'll see my extensive collection of ISOs. Red Star, here we are. We don't need you anymore, so remove. Uh, let me, so live CD. Then we're gonna hopefully be able to start the machine. Now I did find out there is absolutely no language option. So, if anyone can read Korean, then... <laughs> Let me know what messed up things are in this operating system. Like, I want to look for propaganda, honestly. That's what I expect from this. Well, if the machine would load, that'd be nice. Okay, something's not right here. Uh, power off. Something's not right here. Okay, let's just set it as Linux. Let's go it It's over Linux 64 bit, okay. Start start the machine, see if we can get this to boot. We might need to give it more desk space. That would require building the virtual machine again. They might not even be able to boot it. Okay. So we're going to go settings. Let's give it some more RAM. Okay. I don't care. I should have enough memory in this thing. For a friend to give a PC. It meant to run Linux, so I needed 3 gigs for that. Then, I ended up just doing a bootable partition of Linux. Still trying to figure out a video I can do with Linux. I'm trying to get the whole screen recorder down for Linux. Because I don't think they make a... I don't think Snagit or any other... F well, VLC has a uh, screen recorder in it. So I'll probably do that in the near future. But this machine will not boot. System. We don't have a floppy. We might need to do that. I don't know what it is, but I just know messing with those check marks sometimes fixes the machine. That's the only way I got Windows 10 to run in here. Ah. This is not Red Star, this looks like OS2. Ah, crap. Uh, CL yeah, this is a DOS. When did that happen? Red Star Desktop. Where did you get... OS 2. 
I don't even have an OS2 VM. Uh, I don't know my DOS commands. Well, this certainly isn't right. Wait, so DOS was able to load using a Linux kernel? Uh, Red Star Desktop 3.0, okay. Well, I don't have it on a disk or a flash drive, so it can have booted off one of those. What? PCI rooted it. Uh. No, it's not Linux. God. I still don't know where it's getting the uh, DOS. ISO from. Well, it's some DOS operating system. The only ones I can think of are MS DOS, 2000, Windows 2000, and IBM OS 2. Well, no, we're going to move hard disk down because I think it's. I think it's trying to boot from a hard disk. So it's probably booting from the DOS VDI. Which it shouldn't be, and I don't know how it is. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. I don't think there's any way I can get information of why it's not booting. Well, I have no clue why I cannot get uh, Red Star to boot. And why it keeps booting in IBM OS 2, I have absolutely no clue. Don't tell me the ISO I downloaded was in OS 2. That doesn't seem right. Red Star. Yeah. I have no clue why it's trying to boot into... Uh, DOS, uh, and I still don't know my DOS commands. Oh yeah, I have this set up so I can bring your attention to the mouse when I need to, so I can point at things. Well, I guess what I'll try to do is I'll post this as part one on YouTube, then I'll try to figure this out and uh, um, try to figure this out and then post the second part but before I do that I'm gonna go back down to red star ISO red star desktop free sign it's yelling at me about my RAM so we're gonna start the machine I might not be giving it enough time, but I'm trying to do this for the sake of the video. Let's see if it still boots in the DOS after that. Yeah. 
Well, I guess I'll do this as part one, and I'll get around to part two if I ever get it to run. So, uh, for now, thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.